So good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we're going to discuss the ninth activity under the DC and series parallel circuits. Okay, so please uh, let's click in the first menu and then let's go to activity number nine. So the title for this activity will be main lamp. So in this particular lecture, uh, we are going to explain and discuss this basic circuit. So how we're going to turn on and off three lamps using a single uh, normally open push button okay so let's click play and then normal mode okay so before we start let's explain first the functionality of the circuit okay so as what we can see in this uh, electrical diagram we have a normally open push button here okay so when you will be uh, when you will start the or when you turn on the power supply as of this moment uh, the current will not be able to flow from this uh, part here to the other part so hence this PL1, PL2, and PL3 will be turned off. Turn off. However, if we're going to press this PB2 here, a closed circuit will be uh, established. Hence, the current will now be able to flow from this side to the loads. Okay, to PL1, PL2, and PL3. And then take note, guys, that in this particular case, the loads are connected in parallel. And, of course, since it, we can assume that the voltage drop for this uh, PB2 is approximately equal to zero, hence we can assume that the voltage drop for PL1 will be 24 volts. And since the PL2 and PL3 are connected in parallel with this PL1, hence the voltage drop also for PL2 and PL3 will also be 24 volts. Okay? So, if you click this one, all of the pilot lamps will be turned on. However, if you release your hand from this push button, it will return to its original or initial state, which is all of the lamps will be turned off. Okay? So, we will first wire the circuit and then we will try to simulate this one later on. So, before we start, we have to uh, connect first the positive terminal of the power supply to the input of the PB2. Okay? Positive supply to the input of the PB2. Next is, okay, so same with the previous circuits that we performed a while ago in the previous lecture, we have to do it uh, level by level. So in this particular case here, we have to finish wiring this first, and then we will wire this PL2, and then lastly, we will wire this PL3. Now, uh, we will now wire the second wire from the output of the PB2 to the input of the PL1. Okay, output of the PB2 to the input of the PL1. Next is, we now have to wire the output of the PL1 to the negative terminal or the zero volts of our power supply. Okay, out and then the negative of our power supply. Okay, and then for the PL2, uh, we have two possible options here. We can connect this one on the output terminal of the PB2 or we can also connect this one to the input of the PL1. So in this particular case, I think it would be easier if we connect the input of the PL2 to the input of the PL1. Okay. Next is... Uh, we have to connect now the output of our PL2 to, or we have two options here. We can also connect this one to the output of our PL1 or directly to the zero volts, so the negative terminal of our power supply. But in this particular case, I think it would be easier if you connect it to the PL output of the PL1. Okay, so... For the PL3 terminals, so this option here, the PL3, we have one, two, three, three possible options. We can connect it to the output of the PB2. We can also connect it to the input of the PL1. However, we can also connect this one to the input of the PL2. But I think in this particular case, it would be easier if we connect it to the input of the PL2. Okay, so... The last wire, so the output of the PL3. So we can connect it to the output of the PL2, the output of the PL1, and of course the negative terminal of the power supply. But in this particular case, I think it would be easier if we connect this one to the output of the PL2. Okay. 
Okay, so since I think uh, the wiring is done, let's click the submit button to check if we got the all the wires connected properly. Okay, passed. So now since we got the pass remarks, we can now simulate the circuit. So as mentioned a while ago, if we're going to press this push button, all of these pilot lamps should be turned on. However, if you press, if we release this push button, all of the pilot lamps will return to its initial state, which is turned off. Okay, so let's try to press. Okay, turn on and then release, turn off. Press again and hold, turn on, and then release, turn off. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.